Hey baddies, welcome to another Auntie Amy's Trashy Tarot. I'm so glad you're here today and I hope you're doing well. Today I'm asking what's the vibe, what's up, what's going on. So uh, keep in mind this is a general reading, it's a general session, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. All right, use your own discernment. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? I really appreciate you guys being here and I hope this video is helpful. If you're a returning subscriber, hey, it's always good to connect with your energy, and I'm so glad you're here. So, um, the first card we have out is, if you are brave enough to say goodbye, life will reward you with a new hello. Okay, feels like a, an ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. Tell me more about this situation. Tell me more. We want to know more. We have air element, witty, intellectual, social, fun. Okay, the new cycle feels like it's fun. We have angel number 222. Okay, that's a master number. That, that's a big number. Okay, um, if you've been seeing these twos a lot, this should really resonate for you. Okay, a sign that you are on the right track, stop worrying and focus on the positive. Okay, so the vibe is very positive, um, which, you know, um, for a lot of us, we've been in a true season of change and transformation, and it's been hard. It's been real difficult. Listen, can you feel the energy of Aquarius growing? You guys, it's here. <laughs> that thing that we've been talking about, Pluto moving into Aquarius, uh, we have a very power, powerful um, astrological shift happening. Um, I think we're going to see the first like real energy of it um, Sunday. However, I feel like a lot of us who are very sensitive to these energies are are starting to feel it now. It feels extremely positive. Um, and for some of you guys, it's unexpected. Even though you've done the work, even though you've cleared so much negativity, even though you're living in your truth and being authentic, I feel like it may be a big old surprise for you. So let's see what the tarot says. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are still like moving out of that old energy. It's hard to say goodbye to things that have even, listen, I've talked about this several times in the last few weeks, but old cycles, old habits, no matter how toxic they were, no matter the toxicity of the environment, in some way can be a comfort, okay? We have king of spring, wands, charming. Okay, so I feel like spring, and I've been feeling this for a while, I feel like spring is going to feel good. And, you know, that's easy to say, yeah, spring feels good. No, spring is going to feel real good. It's, you're going to be able to connect with the energy of spring as renewal, as refreshing energy, as you're really going to start to get into the cycles of like renewal, refreshing, um, connecting with nature, connecting with your own internal cycles, understanding more how you work, how your own rebirth works. I feel a rebirth energy here. I'm heading into spring and summer, um, which is in tune with nature. Um, let's see. We have the wheel of fortune chance. Ooh, this feels good. <laughs> you know, as you say goodbye to this old, this old way, and it's heavy. It's heavy, and the goodbye, the transition for some of you guys is long. It's not, it's not like, oh, okay, goodbye, shut the door, walk away. <laughs> it's not that energy. It's the energy of like this at what at one time. Sorry, your auntie's tongue is heavy this morning. My medication was was heavy. Okay, so it feels like at one at one time like you were stuck or you are still in, and I don't want to use the word stuck, okay, because this energy at one time was comforting, no matter the toxicity, because it's what you knew. And so you kind of linger in the doorway, in the in-between, between what you once knew and 
what you are walking into as far as your promise, your miracle, that thing your manifestation is bringing to you, the universe, whatever you want to say. Um, and it's, it's nostalgic. You may be start getting flooded with nostalgic things. Those are signs. Uh, that's part of the letting go. Okay, that's part of the, oh, the good. I'm letting go of some of the good too because I'm letting go. I'm not saying you won't have the memory, but the deep, the deep connection that you have to needing that for comfort won't be there as much. Um, you won't need it for comfort. You'll remember it with love and embrace it, but the needing it for comfort, you're moving into something new, something new where the need to comfort yourself because of toxicity won't won't be you won't need it <laughs> you're released from it that's part of ending the cycle and for some of you that can bring some sadness there's some grief for that that tenderness that you had and i know for some people that's very hard to understand for those of us who have been traumatized who have lived in a place where you know our shadow was a comfort in a very strange way our our uh our ability to cope with our traumas our coping skills no matter how toxic they were um they they comforted us you know and so we're moving into new energy that although is very good also feels extremely uncomfortable very uncomfortable very unfamiliar it's happy energy it's prosperous energy it's energy that's like everything's going to be very beautiful it's charming it's warm it's gracious it likes you it wants to embrace you this new beautiful cycle it wants to bring in a new fertility a new virility a new possibility it feels highly creative highly it's like fertile with possibility and in order to fully engage with this energy, you have to say goodbye to those old ways of being. And I feel like a lot of you are just in the doorway and it's a final goodbye. That's what I'm hearing. It's a final goodbye. Um, and as the energy of Aquarius grows more and more strongly, if you have any Aquarian placements, this is going to hit you very strongly. Okay. Um, because uh, I believe on, was it Saturday, we're going to have two powerful positions of Aquarius. They're going to be in a very, it could be Saturday. Anyway, two powerful positions. And this is a timeless reading, but this is the, the astrology right now. Uh, two powerful positions of Aquarius. I, I think Aquarius moves into Pluto for a while. I think there's a little change and then it goes back. Or it may have already done that. I don't know. But anyway, Pluto moves into Aquarius. And then we have another powerful, I think it's the sun. I could be wrong, but, um, you know, I'm not a professional astrologer per se. Okay. But I do do some astrology. Um, but I, I believe I always question my memory just because, but I believe that's what's going on. Um, and it's in a very powerful, uh, lovely conjunction. Okay. Um, very powerful. So, um, and I feel like a lot of us are, are picking up on this and it's, this energy is full of, beautiful potential for you to, you to align with your deeper desire, your higher self desire, uh, to make your life a, it's almost like a working canvas of your higher dimensional self, um, an artistic expression, life as an artistic expression of your spiritual self. Um, it's a beautiful energy. We have the three of fall cooperation. What you're going to find starts to happen for you is the universe is going to start cooperating with you. Instead of the struggle, instead of always feeling like you have to do more, and always feeling like you have to give more, um, you have to be super detailed in everything and it's still not working out, you're going to find that things start to kind of just work out for you. They just kind of start, they start unfolding in a way that you didn't see coming. 
because it feels like this is a beautiful surprise okay so we have the air element here aquarius libra gemini um you know if you're an air sign i feel like you're really going to feel this in general because you know you have your sister sign there i call it a sister sign because we're all air here um i don't think you know as far as uh you know, astrology goes, they wouldn't call it a sister sign, but, um, we share the same element. Um, and, uh, I think you'll feel it strongly as well, but, um, because of your element, um, but this card here says witty, intellectual, social fun. I feel like your mental clarity will really pop. I think you're about to get a lot of clarity about how to move with this wheel of fortune. And I feel like the universe is going to help you see your pathways because opening up certain pathways and allowing you to see them so that you pick the pathways where the universe can cooperate with you in a more powerful way is what I'm getting. You are on the right path and you will have signs that you're on the right path. For a lot of you, it will be twos. It will be two, two, two. You'll see them it mixed in with other numbers. Um, pay attention when you see the twos. And I feel like for some of you, you don't realize how brave you've been um, in your journey and how brave you have to be to kind of move on to the next cycle because the next cycle really is about you starting new patterns okay so many of you have broken those generational curses you've broken it you've done the breaking you've done the act of breaking it so now you're beginning to repattern okay and some of you guys may not have thought about this process you may not have thought about well what happens after we break it well, this, <laughs> this beautiful energy comes in, a gift from the universe comes in and we start to repattern for positive change and positive patterning so that our lives change and the lives of others around us change and the lives of those who come after us change. Um, I've called the people who do this, the way makers, there, there can be other names for them, whatever. Um, it's a powerful thing because it's not over yet. <laughs> the thing is, is that it's not easy either because there is a period of transition, of adjustment. And, and the thing is, is that we've been, some of you guys have been in this period of adjustment. Some of you guys aren't there yet. Um, and I got to tell you, if you're not in the period of adjustment, it's going to be much easier for you. Okay. Because the Aquarian energy is popping. But for those of you who have been in this transition and you've had a hard time because you haven't had a lot of cooperation, that's going to start. Okay, some of you guys are starting to feel it. You're starting to see it. Um, but those of you who haven't gotten there, you're going you're gonna to have a much easier time with this transition because the universe is just going to start to kind of slip and slide things for you. Um, and... For some of you, this is going to, I feel like un, I'm unnerved. I'm unnerved by this. We have eight of fall, intuition, which is the eight of pentacles. I, I feel like you guys don't realize how much knowledge you've gained by your journey. There's a need here for you to be aware of how wise you are. Um, of how far you've come. That's what I feel here. Um, I also feel like your intuition, your gut feeling, that what that sixth sense, whatever you call it, you need to follow it because it's going to be much more active. We're going to see many more strange and unusual things pop up, pop through in the world. Um, the Aquarian energy is very unusual. It's very magical. Um, it's like magician energy. Um, and it is the realm of miraculous energy. It is the realm of unusual energy. It is the realm of, uh, of energy where really we get to align with our higher 
self, our higher vision, um, where really, really putting energy into change on a massive scale happens. But all true change begins individually, and it it magnifies throughout the collective. So as you focus into this transition energy, as you slide into it, slide into it, you don't have to run into it, you don't have to tackle it, tackle it but just kind of slide into it nicely, like slide through that door and say, you know, it was wonderful the time we had, my shadow, my friend, but you know what? It's time. My intuition tells me it's time for me to shut the door on this. I take my memories. I take my wisdom. I take everything you taught me. And now I'm going to slide in to my new cycle. And you do that. Now, know with this new cycle here, um, it doesn't mean that old issues won't pop up. You know, for some of us, these issues are, you know, they're ongoing issues. But it will be different when they pop up. It won't be the same. You'll be in a different place, and you'll be um, a different person in so many ways because you already are. Some of you guys are just not aware of the changes that you've made within yourself, all right? Okay, let's get a couple more cards from the California Vibes um, deck here. Okay, tell me more about this change, about this change. It feels beautiful. It feels like I, I still get I'm unnerved by this. I'm unnerved by the change. I'm unnerved by the signs. I feel like some of the signs are going to be so validating, so on for some of you guys that it it will shake you. But understand that you are at a different level. And so your connection with your guides, your angels, whatever you work with, is more powerful. It's becoming more transparent. And the energy around the planet is becoming more transparent. The veil, if you will, is thin and thinning more and more on the daily because of this energy. Because of a lot of things. All right. So just kind of walk around with that knowledge in the back of your head when weird stuff happens, okay? Just walk around with that knowledge. Don't allow things to, to shock you too much. The state of shock uh, can lead to the state of fear, and that feeds the negativity in your life and in uh, the collective. And, you know, fear is a valid emotion. I'm not saying that. But fear is useful at times. Uh, you know, fear serves a purpose for survival. But uh, unnecessary fear can become parasitic, and we don't want that, right? Fear is a proper emotion to be applied in certain situations, but unnecessary fear uh, feeds anxiety and, and depression and things like that, and we don't want to do that, right? Okay, we have, we try to hide our feelings, but we forget that our eyes speak. All right, and we have stand out, don't be shy, don't shy away, okay? So I feel like, you guys, the authenticity within you shines. And I don't know if you're aware, but your authentic self is coming more and more to the surface. You can't hide who you are anymore. And a lot of you guys didn't hide yourself necessarily because you're hiding something. I feel like you know, the, the mask wearing really does come from trauma. It, it really does. It is a coping mechanism. We become what is safe to present. We become what we feel is safe to present to society, to our family, because we're protecting our bruised and abused inner layers. We know how sensitive they are. But as you heal those bruised inner layers, as you heal the wound, um, the masks come off and some of you guys have been working so heavy in this energy, doing so much work on yourself, um, that you don't realize how many layers of your mask have come off. Some of you guys are maskless and you don't even realize it. I feel like part of this shift is you become more aware of how authentic you really are, 
how like down and real you are because I feel like people are going to start connecting to you on a different level because they see you now. And I feel like your ability to read people, read their masks, discern people is going to start developing more and more because as you become more authentic, you begin to see people who are not authentic with you. You begin to see and read energies very quickly. When you step into your authentic self and you stop apologizing for who you are, and instead of apologizing, you embrace it. Um, And this will unnerve people because most people, I would say a lot of people, live in a state of being sorry for who they really are because most people I feel like are outside the norm. I think the norm, well, it's artificial. It's not real. It's fake. Um, you know, if you are like, okay, let's just take YouTube or you do, you, you, let's take Instagram. Okay. Um, people who are trying to be Instagram influencers or influencers on uh, different platforms. Uh, a lot of the shit you see is fake. All of it's fake. <laughs> Most reality shows are fake. None of it's real there. You know, uh, a lot of things are Photoshopped, a lot of filters, a lot of ma- manipulation. Do you really think people get up, you know, at 6am and look like that? A lot of them don't look like that. You know what I'm saying? It's not real. And what's happening is, is that people are starting to look for more realness in general. That's part of this Aquarian energy. Um, And as you are walking more more in your authenticity, you're going to see more real people and you're going to spot the people who are fake. And um, I feel like, you know, I bring up the Instagram thing because... I feel like a lot of you have, in some way, maybe due to trauma, you may have been comparing yourself or your journey to other people because perhaps it's taken you longer to get healed or maybe you haven't accomplished the things that you wanted to in life because it looks like everyone else is doing so well. Perhaps you have this failure mentality that, you know, you should be much further in life than where you are. And I need you to drop that, throw that in the room before you shut the door. Okay. Because you're exactly where you need to be. You are exactly where you need to be because your journey is different. You are different. You are not like the other. You were never meant to fit in. Okay, you were never meant to run with the crowd. Okay, you are unique. You have a unique energy. And as soon as you can really accept it, and not just accept it, but walk into it and embrace it, things will shift for you. That's part of the Aquarian energy, is honoring the truth of your uniqueness Being your strange self, being weird. I'm weird. I'm strange. I'm unique, you know, Um, and that's just the way it is. I've had to accept that. I had to really start dealing with that when I was laying in that bed over there. Um, That was one of the things before I even started my journey getting up out of bed after being bed bound for six years. Uh, That was one of the things that Lilith talked to me about. Um. And I didn't even know it was Lilith at the time. But anyway, that's another video. But I had to really accept that I was going to be a, um, a plant head, a plant head the rest of my life. I'm trying to be nice for the AI, not AI, the algorithm, but it might as well be an AI. Um, and that I was going to have to accept that I am different. I am unique. I have unique things about me. Some of it's because of trauma and some of it's because I'm just kind of weird. And I've always been weird. Um, And once you can really accept that, a lot of things begin to shift. Um, You're able to see the truth of yourself and you're able to walk in a way that no one can really fuck with you. No one can really mess with you anymore because you know who you are. And what happens is you connect more deely with your gifts and abilities, no matter how weird they are. 
because you know at that point that having those gifts serves a purpose. There's a reason. You may not understand why, but they serve a reason because you're meant to stand out with those. There's something here you're meant to do. You are not on this planet at this very important time in humanity's history for just coinky dink. I would think if you really believe that, you wouldn't have watched this video all the way through. So what I'm telling you is that if you have been in a tough cycle and you've been doing a lot of shadow work and you've been working on yourself, you're about to slide into a very beautiful energy that's going to allow for the universe to really start working with you in a positive way. And you're going to see a shift that is positive and will make you, many of you, uncomfortable because you haven't been in this energy before. Now, for those of you who have been in this energy before, it's going to grow. It's going to get stronger and you're going to start winning on the regular. You're going to live in this positive energy. The universe is going to start really supporting those who have been in the struggle because now it's time to start shifting the energy individually so that in time to come, the collective as a whole can begin to shift. Do you see what I'm saying? As above, so below. What happens individually will eventually radiate through the collective. And we need that, okay? And that's why, you know, the people who come first, the way makers, there's different, there's different names for them. Some of them call the, them the indigos, whatever. That's why it's so difficult for us to do this work because we are literally moving this energy. We're, we're alchemizing this energy. We're transmuting this energy. And it will be a lot easier for those who come behind us. Now, however, for those that have come behind us, their awakening was much more traumatic. So their transition is going to be a lot more smoother. You know, the journey is a bit different for them. Just like our journey is a bit different because our, our awakenings, our, our transitions, our awakenings tended to be, they were shocking, but not nearly as shocking as a lot of people who are waking up now and who have been awakening for the last few years. Um, but the transition for us has been rough. <laughs> it's been rough. Um, but they're going to get a smoother transition because the Aquarian energy will be here to help them with that. So um, it's really beautiful. Um, yeah, that's the energy I got for today. I hope this is helpful. If it is, if it resonated, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more Auntie Amy's Trashy Tarot or readings like this one, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys.